Today we will learn animation using V-Ray camera. Earlier we saw using physical camera of 3ds Max. So open animation.max file. So these are the four windows. You need to use these cones as a reference for camera traveling. Go to the top view by clicking on top view window LW go to create shapes and line so you can have a smooth line creation method should be smooth or corner line can be then edited by in command panel line vertex a bezier corner further to get points on line click on refine and then click on line to get points to bend the line in left view we check go to the left view now from explorer window click on line then move tool pull the line up you can change the color of line so that it is visible adjust the line properly The move tool has been activated. Shift the line up. Go to the vertex. Vertexes you can select and move it down. You can have more points. Refine. You get more points on the line. Switch off the refine. You can bend the line so that the stairs are visible. Now go to the top view animation wire parameters not required walkthrough assistant so you will get V-Ray walkthrough assistance you create new camera that camera will get created pick a path click on the line which you created earlier the camera you can move to its first point zero frame if after clicking here you get a render view You go to left view and see the camera focus if you want to adjust you can adjust it so that the stairs are visible you move it and see whether stairs are covered proper view is covered Now press C for camera, you will be getting camera view, now play, play the animation. Here you have only 300 frames, it is too fast. Go through to time, timeline you can change end time. Or reduce the end time. Initially as a default it is 100 frames, I have made 300 so that the movement is better you can watch 
and go to the render setup this is V-Ray camera setup which you are seeing this and this is render setup field of view you can change in V-Ray camera renders V-Ray camera setup maximize render setup in render setup go to SGTV video 480 you need to do automatically second dimension will come active timeline then sampling method unified you can set a path save file I am saving it as animation hyphen 1 or hyphen 2 the file type is AVI save render it will render 300 frames by default it is 100 frames it is too fast so I have increased number of frames to 300 so camera goes little bit slow it will take its own time to render entire scene render progress is visible there frames remaining frames so this is the rendered file you can go to the destination folder and check your render file whether it is saved or not save this file you can see your AVI file where a camera rendering you can set up the dimensions of video as per your requirement we have set 480 thank you very much for watching